From balconies to Broadway stages, Tony winner Brian Stokes Mitchell dazzles us in everything he does. That includes helping his fellow artists as chairman of the newly minted Entertainment Community Fund. And we are so stoked to catch up with him now. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. It's always great to be here. It is always good to see you. And you have been busy, so you fit us in this busy schedule of yours. You know, one of the things that you recently did, you received an honorary degree at Boston Conservatory uh, at Berkeley. What does that honor mean to you? Because that's huge. It, it's huge, you know, it's an honorary doctor of the arts, and it's especially huge because I'm somebody that, that did not go to college. Yes. I literally went from high school straight into the professional world, so I was kind of from the school of hard knocks, which I have said is a very good school, by it the is. way. It is. It's a hard school. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Um, but it's great to be honored like this, you know, for the work that I've done over so many so many years now, and yeah. that people appreciate what you do, and somebody's been watching what you do. It's yes. just it's pretty wonderful. Because you just never know how many people are paying attention, and obviously a lot of people are. Absolutely. But, um, do you have any advice for graduates who may be, you know, heading into the, a life of the arts? Because I think you, you have to mentally prepare for that. Yes. It's very, very hard. I, I always say if there's something else you want to do in your life, do, do that. that instead because <laughs> yeah. it's almost impossible to be an artist. But if you are fortunate and, and have a, um, uh, are, are able to have a, a job as a, a career yeah. as an artist, it is, I think, the best career that anybody can have. You get to make people happy and fill them with joy and get to do what you love and put song into the world. Yes. It's really, really a, a beautiful way to make a living. It really is. It's, re it's pretty special to be able to do that. That. Um, and speaking of a life in the arts, you've been chairman of the newly rebranded Entertainment Community Fund, formerly known as the Actors Fund. Yes. Well, so why the change? Well, we've been around for 140 years as the Actors Fund. Yeah. And back when we were founded, actor was kind of a pejorative term for anybody that was in show business in the yeah. performing arts. But the Actors Fund always served everybody that was I in the entertainment community. And we thought now is the time to change it. We actually tried to change the name about 12 years ago, oh, but wow. that wasn't co the right time. That wasn't yeah, the correct this time. This is the right time. Exactly. Because of the pandemic, because everybody realized, um, first, how much we rely on everybody. But also, we got support from uh, every facet of the of the industry yeah. that we also serve: crew members, uh, writers, directors, um, uh, dancers, comedians. Everybody came out of the woodwork, and so the name change really is an act of gratitude from yeah. us to say thank you to everybody in the entertainment community. We are all one. We are all together, and we all support each other. Yeah. And how are you eligible to be helped through the Entertainment Community Fund? If you're an entertainment professional, you can call up the uh, entertainment, uh, well, the entertainment uh, uh, community. I'm so used to saying that. I've I been know. saying it for the last 140 years now. <laughs> yeah. The Entertainment Community Fund. Uh, you can look us up online. Also, if you only remember the Actors Fund right now, it'll take you right to our, our Entertainment Community Fund site. Yeah. And you can find out all of that information. If somebody needs help with insurance, uh, counseling, with uh, emergency uh, uh, funds uh, for uh, uh, a career counseling, there's a million things we have there or if they'd like to donate to us as well and then you can find out if you qualify yeah I mean you've been the chairman for 20 years and you know everyone keeps talking about how the stage hands the understudies everybody has been holding this community together so what yeah. is it like seeing the Broadway community kind of thrive in this moment like come uh, back in this roaring way it's I incredibly emotional and incredibly beautiful I'm so happy every show that I see I'm trying to see Everything, go to every opening yeah. that I can to see every show and just be in in the row and be be there for the curtain call when the curtain goes up and be able to clap and stand up and cheer yeah. for those actors and performers and musicians and crew members yeah. and ticket takers and company and stage managers that are all part of that bringing that forward to all of yeah, us. Yeah, and I think the audience is just as enthused as the people on stage yeah. when that's happening. But, you know, you'll be back on stage at Feinstein's 54 Below um, for the Diamond Series. Yes. Have you started working on the show? I have, actually. I'm always kind of formulating what it's going to be. I don't usually know until maybe about two weeks before because I know thousands of songs now. Oh, my God. And it's like, what should I put together? But I'm calling this one informally Songs and Stories because I'll be telling stories also about what it's been like getting through this last two years. Yeah. Not only for me, but for everybody in, in show business, performing arts, for all of the entertainment community. Yeah, well, you know what? You're always so busy. Like I said in the beginning, it's so nice when you can make some time for us and stop by and chat. Uh, so if you want to follow um, Brian Stokes on social media for all his all he's got going on, and head to entertainmentcommunityfund.org for more info.